Those are nice Nike sneakers that you are wearing. Where did you get them? I got them at finish line. They were on sale for $120. Wow, that is really expensive for a sale price. Do you have any idea where they came from or who made them? No, I don't know. Where did my sneakers come from? Your shoes were most likely made from young children and adults in sweatshops. Wow, I had no idea. Please tell me more about these sweatshops. The people working in the sweatshops work long and hard hours. They barely get any bricks and get paid a very low salary. That seems awful. It seems like they are being treated as slaves. Yes, workers working in sweatshops in Korea work in awful working conditions. In this factory, similar to the factories that make sneakers, the workers had to make Mardi Gras beads under great pressure. The documentary Mardi Gras, made in China shows what a working day in the sweatshops are like. How old are the workers? And what is the day of work like? The ages range. Some are teenagers and some are a bit older. Both men and women work. Some girls are 18 and have been working in the factory for three years. They are working under a lot of pressure and have to make sure that they made enough beats for the day. They could not speak and would get fined one day's pay if they were caught talking to each other. What are their hours like and how much do they get paid? They have to work every day for 11 hours with only three hours worth of breaks. Their pay is about 10 cents an hour and they only got about 4 hours of sleep each night because they have to get up early to make sure they make the amount of beads they have to make for the day. The rooms that they sleep in are very small. 10 workers have to share the 5 beds in each room. That seems really unfair. They do a lot of work for getting paid very little. The men and women aren't even allowed to interact with each other. If one is caught in the opposite gender's room, their pay is stopped for one month. I didn't think it was a big deal to get caught interacting with someone of the opposite sex. In most workplaces you can interact with someone of the opposite sex, but it is very different for the Koreans. This is considered deviant in the Korean sweatshops. What do you mean by deviant? This means that that behavior does not conform to social expectations. The owner of the factory does not accept opposite sex interactions. If their conditions and work life is so bad, then why do the workers work in the factories? Some of the workers have no choice. For example, those who are not well educated or have a bad family history, have no choice but to work in these factories to make a living. The government knows everything about the families and if the family history is bad, then they don't have a good chance of getting a good job. Do the workers ever quit or try to rebel against their boss? Some of their methodologies are going on strike. They would stop working until their pay was raised. Do their strikes work? No. Their boss usually raises their hours but not their pay. The bosses also claim that their workers would never stop working and that they have fun because of all the friends they make. This is all a lie. Wow, the bosses seems very mean and selfish. Do bosses of these sweatshops make a lot of money? They make a ton of money. They usually drive nice cars and live in a nice house. That is very unfair since the workers barely get paid anything and work so hard. I can't see the fun or happiness in working in these factories. And the sad thing is that the majority of the beats they work so hard to make for the one day of Mardi Gras, end up getting thrown away at the end of the night. They are exchanged for nudity and then thrown away. So their hard work is all for nothing. Do they ever get any days off? The factories are closed for two weeks only once a year for the Chinese New Year. Other than those two weeks, the workers work every day. I don't know how they do it. Are all the factories like this? Like the ones that my sneakers came from? Absolutely. Whoever made your sneakers are working the same hours as the Koreans who made the beads. That really makes me reconsider buying expensive name brand sneakers now. They are so expensive and the person making them is getting paid a very low salary. Good. It should make you reconsider what you buy. It's not fair to the workers and it is very selfish of us to always want the name brands that these people have to work hard to make. Thank you for alarming me about where my shoes and clothes come from and the conditions they're made under. The horrible conditions and low pay of the workers really makes me reconsider purchasing name brand items that are made in sweatshops.